In this video, I'm going to demonstrate what's commonly known as pamphlet sewing used on single section books. In the video on pamphlet binding, I demonstrate two different types of sewing techniques. The version A is not known as the pamphlet sewing, version B is, and that's the one I'm going to demonstrate in this video. The key characteristic is on the return, you skip the middle hole. So I'll start by demonstrating the simplest version, which is the three hole version. As you'll see in this video, you can extend out the number of holes that you use, but it's always an odd number of holes. And because in this version I'm starting in the center, the knot will be in the center. So here we're going to skip the center hole, but then come back through the center hole now. And a key thing is to keep each of the threads, the uh, original thread, and the returning thread either side of the thread that's going head to tail. And then we'll tie a square knot over the top of that thread and that's the sewing complete. As you've just seen, it's a very simple technique but provides really good attachment for sheets in a pamphlet. This could then be bound into a thin book or just left like this and it's much nicer than staples and certainly won't rust. Now let's extend it to five holes and five holes is what I normally do. Now I like to print out bookbinding notes and instructions and I nearly always do it in a pamphlet format. I don't always uh, sew the pamphlets like this, but if it's something that I'm going to read a lot, I will sew it, and sometimes I'll put a cover on it. And I think in the fourth example, I'll demonstrate the sort of simple cover that I, that I do. But if it's something that's important to me, uh, has some significance, uh, then I'll even go to the trouble of covering it. As you can see, the five hole variation is very straightforward as well. You just go back and forth through the holes from inside to outside, skip the center hole, and again with a thread either side of the thread running head to tail, I tie a square knot and it's done. If you have something larger, you might want to go to seven holes. Now there has been some efforts put into trying to standardize the terminology around sewing of books. Now I don't think that's really been finalized yet. Uh, the earliest I can find of this is a paper by Pamela Spitzmuller and Gary Frost from 1982, and I'll put a link in the description to that article where they start to um, standardize or try and suggest ideas for standardizing the terminology of sewing of books. And But they do focus uh, on sewing through the fold. My understanding is that currently if you're going through the fold, it's called sewing, and if you're going through the side of the paper, then it's called stitching. But I could have that wrong because I couldn't find a reference to back that statement up.
you might like to add some protection to a pamphlet and so this is a sort of a stiff cover it's just some manila card that's slightly wider than the pamphlet and the same height and it's the same process just a little bit trickier because it's harder to keep the the cover and the text aligned the other small variation that i'm doing here is that i'm starting on the outside so that the knot will be on the outside And to demonstrate how versatile the sewing technique is, I'll sew some single sheets together. In this case, a Hewitt's finishing tool catalogue. I should have found something thinner to use because I was having trouble making holes in it. I'm going to start with a fine needle in a pin vise and then enlarge the holes to the size of my sewing needle, also using a pin vise. If you haven't come across a pin vise before, it's a really handy tool. You can use it to hold uh, different size pins and needles, uh, which could be a really fine needle, which you often use for uh, picking out your mistakes in gold finishing. Uh, or you just might want to hold a larger needle, like with a larger pin vise. The sewing order is exactly the same as through the fold, except you're going through the sides. And because this pile of paper is quite thick, I'm going to struggle to get the needle through. So I'm going to need a little bit of help with my bone folder. And I should have put the bulldog clip on before piercing the holes. I'd even got it down to do that. And then I forgot. These things happen. And as you see, again, this provides a secure way of holding single sheets of paper together and it's much nicer than staples. I hope you've found pamphlet sewing useful. If you've enjoyed the video, as always, I really appreciate you hitting the big thumbs up button. If you want to be notified of my future videos, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, cheerio.